It's early morning in California. The sun rises above the valley. Elon Musk, as usual, already early waking up. But this morning's different. He's not going to his office to work like usual. This morning's a special one. You see, Elon dreamed big and achieved big because he believed in his dreams. And now he's waiting for the golden payoff, his prize for his hard work, a prize for the last 12 years for the 100-hour work weeks. He forced himself to live off a dollar a day to pursue his entrepreneurial passion when he was 17 years old. He discontinued his higher education to explore his entrepreneurial ideas and succeeded. He's an ambitious entrepreneur who knows how to push the envelope. Ambition drives people forward to accomplish the impossible. He follows the road less traveled. He's a workaholic and he's passionate about his work. Well, this morning, he expects to receive a car that he just bought called the McLaren F1 and it's a million dollar hypercar. So let's watch this motivational moment together. But before we get into that, hey, destroy that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell and trust me when I say, you don't wanna miss the next video. It will be mind blowing. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, it's decadent. The McLaren F1 is a million dollar hypercar, the last great analog car built between 1992 and 1998, and there's only 62 in the world and Elon will own one. Well, this version had a world first carbon fiber frame, a 627 horsepower BMW V12 engine. You did not get anti-locker power brakes, traction control, power steering, or anything resembling an electronic safety net, despite the fact that the car cost nearly a million dollars at launch. What you did get was the fastest production car in history with 231 miles per hour, which is 371 kilometers per hour top speed, and one of the least compromised road machines ever built. McLaren won seven Formula One Constructors Championships and landed wins everywhere from Can-Am to the Indy 500, and McLaren gave that Ayrton Senna his first Formula One Championship. Wow, I can't believe it's actually here. It's pretty wild, man. Just three years ago, I was showering at the YMCA and sleeping on the office floor, and now, obviously, I've got a million dollar car and quite a few feature comforts, says Elon Musk. It is a moment in my life. <laughs> At this time, Elon had just sold his software company, Zip2, for $400 million hard cash, the company that he founded at age 24 when his brother Kimball and $28,000 worth of their father's money. Zip2 provided a searchable business directory, kind of like an online version of the Yellow Pages with maps. Back in 95, there weren't very many people on the internet, um, and certainly nobody was making any money at all. The small business owners didn't really see value in creating a website for their business and having listings on the online listings. Therefore, he and his brother Kimball started visiting local restaurants, clothing shops, and hairdressers. They literally went door to door explaining to people about the internet and their searchable directory of businesses zip tied with city maps. When Elon and his brother started Zip2, instead of getting an apartment, they rented a small office and they slept on the couch and showered at the YMCA. They were so hot sometimes, they only had one computer. So the website was up during the day and Elon was coding at night, seven days a week, all the time. Elon sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period and in order to be with him, she had to sleep in the office because he worked hard. I mean, every waking hour. Receiving cash is cash. I mean, those are, just a large number of Ben Franklins. He chose the perfect car for Silicon Valley with a large number of Ben Franklins in his pocket. He could go and buy one of the islands in the Bahamas and turn it into his personal kingdom, but much more interested he was in building and creating a new company. He sunk the great majority of his net worth into X.com, which was the new banking and mutual funds company on the internet. And that's where the PayPal saga began and Elon transformed the traditional banking industry. He targeted the financial sector because he knew it hadn't seen much innovation on the internet. At the time, money transactions were slow, and even a single transaction could take a couple of weeks because people still had to mail checks. I think X.com could absolutely be a, a multi-billion dollar bonanza. It's because if you look at the industry that XCOM is pursuing, it's the biggest sector of the world economy. Is that a McLaren F1? Yes. Oh my God. That's unbelievable. <laughs> 
It's sort of like a series of poker games. And now I've gotten on high stakes and just carry the chips with me. I haven't gone and taken my winnings and spanned a big chunk, but I've really just put almost all of it back into a new game, explained Elon Musk. Sense of satisfaction having created the company that I sold. Yes, 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 but the car is fun. But the car sure is The car is fun. Sure is Let's fun. be honest. For Elon, the real payoff is the chance of satisfaction having created the company that he sold. And the car? Sure, the cars, let's be honest. It's a million dollar McLaren F1. My fear is that we become spoiled brats, that we lose a sense of appreciation and um, perspective. Well, we can't talk about appreciation because that depends on the viewer's background and expectations. But we can say we appreciate what the McLaren F1 probably did for electric vehicle history. Although some people loathe combustion engine cars, the McLaren F1 must have taught Musk what a car should be. In the brief period he drove it, the F1 probably amazed him so many times to the point he knew the Model S would not be good enough if it didn't do the same. Elon Musk feared he'd be seen as an imperialist brat for having bought the McLaren F1. Justine Wilson was also concerned they'd become spoiled brats. On the other hand, perspective shows that the most valuable car company in the world may have a lot to owe to a then $1 million combustion engine car built in 1999. Unfortunately, good things don't last forever and must soon learn what happens when 627 horsepower on the rear wheels goes wrong. While driving to a meeting about PayPal, while investor Peter Thiel in one of the passenger seats on Sand Hill Road in Palo Alto, Musk was asked to show what the F1 could do. And uh, Peter says, so, so what can this do? <laughs> and they're like, I'm probably number one on the list of famous last words. I said, watch this. <laughs> In an interview, he openly admits he didn't really know how to drive the F1, but it didn't stop him from planning the accelerator and attempting to change lanes. Thanks to the lack of traction control in the British-built beast, the 6.1-liter V12 spun the rear wheels with ease, and the F1 was thrust headfirst into an embankment before spinning like a disc through the air. When it finally came back down the earth, the windscreen, body, and suspension system were destroyed. Thanks to that groundbreaking carbon fiber monocoque, passenger compartment and the BMW built power plant were unscathed. And you guys still don't know the funny part of the story. The McLaren F1 was not even insured. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think guys? Elon Musk was just lucky to hit the jackpot in 99 or hard work and taking risk are paying off. Let me know in the comments below and I hope you had fun and enjoyed the video and if you did destroy that like button or love button for the YouTube algorithm. I mean, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in another mind-blowing.